Pisces. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at your energies at the moment and um, just have a look at what it is that you need to be doing right now and see if we can help you along this journey. Okay, Pisces, so first off we're using the Cosmic Reading Cards and we are using the Osho Zen Tarot for clarification or, you know, little bit more insight okay so Pisces let's get into it so first up we have limitless Pisces this is about you really looking at um, how it is that you limit yourself okay y your fears all right your fears of, of failing you know you might have a fear of making a mistake you might have a fear of being humiliated, um, you might have a fear of being seen, yeah, um, so looking at this and seeing what it is that is blocking you from actually being able to expand, okay, um, I, this is interesting, I actually saw a video not too long ago about um, an experiment that was done um, on fleas. And they put the fleas into a, a jar, yay high, right? And for two weeks. And the fleas learned that they could only jump up to where the lid was. And then once the fleas were released after two weeks, they found that the... Um, the fleas would not jump any higher than what they were limited to when they were within the jar for their entire rest of their lifespan. And so this is what this is about for you, Pisces, looking at it with, you know, what areas of your life where you have been limited or limited yourself, you know, and it could have been by external forces. Um, but at the moment, I feel like you're in a situation, Pisces, where you are actually able to now expand and um, and you're not doing that, okay? This is something that could be to do with a relationship, okay? So this could be fears over things not working out, over being hurt. Um, but I really feel like this is about you looking truthfully at yourself and looking at and being honest with what it is that you are doing to stop yourself from progressing. Um, really looking at what it is that is around you that there could be people mirroring you um, and seeing how it is that people are triggering you to find out exactly what it is that is limiting you. So, you know, for example, someone could be going to say like go for a job for example right and there's a the perfect job for them but they won't go for it because they're too afraid they're not going to get it and it could be really ticking you off because you're like how stupid like you're made for this job why wouldn't you go and do it and they're too scared you know and that could be really irritating you because in actual fact that's triggering you because that's actually for you in a different circumstances in a different circumstance the case okay so yeah i hope that was yeah i'm sure you get what i mean so yeah so yeah really being honest with yourself okay love this looking like listening to this inner voice okay quietening your mind and really going within because i feel like pisces you have this hidden gem inside of you ready to be brought up and out to be shone and your fears are stopping you from bringing this out you're afraid of shining and i'm really getting the strong sense for some of you that you are afraid of being seen you see oh, sorry believe you see other people doing this and having the success in their life and being able to actually put themselves out there and you want to be able to do that but you just don't believe you can 
In this card here, you see there is the silhouette of a person, okay? But very, very hard to see because it is hidden behind all the colours and all these patterns, okay, Pisces? So it's important for you to be breaking the patterns and allowing yourself to shine, okay? Because it's like you're putting yourself back here into the shadows, okay? Because that is what you're comfortable with and it's, it is limiting you, yeah? So, yeah, that's super interesting. Um, yeah, I know, I can kind of feel like for some of you, you're like, oh my God, I can't imagine doing that, you know? But the thing is, you're suppressing yourself and you're holding yourself down, okay? And it's actually becoming this really heavy burden for you. And I just feel like you're a little bit miserable. I feel like you're a bit like, oh God, I don't have to keep living the same thing day in and day out, do I? But, and you don't, yet it's your limiting beliefs and your limiting thoughts that are holding you back from actually doing this because you see here how this kind of cloud here is, is pushing this guy down, right? So to me, it's like this is the weight of his own thoughts and beliefs actually stopping him from growing and throwing off the ropes and being able to break free. Changing those patterns and, and really becoming aware of those thoughts, right? Becoming aware of what it is in those beliefs that are, you know, because you might not even be aware, you might, oh, I don't even know what's holding me back. So just paying attention, every time you want to go and do something, listening to what is the next thing is in your head, you couldn't do that. Imposter syndrome, right? Who, who do you think you are? You don't have the qualifications for that. You don't have the ability for that, right? Releasing those. Look at this, isolation. You know, if this is a new relationship, this could be from past hurts that you have promised yourself that you won't go back into anything um, and that's keeping you iced up. Okay, you've kind of put this, you've, you've hardened your heart and you've, um, yeah, I, I feel like this, this guy here, because his tears... Uh, what is melting the ice so it feels like there needs to be this release of emotion and you're not allowing yourself to do that you could be scared of the emotions okay this is having the strength to do that Pisces having the strength to come out and be vulnerable at the moment I actually feel like you're um, keeping yourself small and not letting your light shine Okay, it could very well be that you have grown up at, or you grew up in an environment where you weren't allowed to shine. If you shone or did anything out of the ordinary or, or stepped away from the norm, you were criticized and put down and like, who do you think you are? Like, you know, it could even be that you're a male who was, wasn't, you know, boys don't cry, that whole shebang. Yeah, and you haven't allowed yourself to really step out and tap into that authenticity of who you truly are. Yeah, and to do so now feels incredibly scary. But it is necessary. And by doing that, you will attract your tribe. You will not only attract your tribe, but you will impact the world in such a way that everyone will be looking going, holy heck, look at Pisces now. Wow. They have come out and absolutely nailed it. You know, and you will have people who maybe once a time would have ridiculed you and put you down coming and saying, how did you do that? Wow. Like, I'm impressed. You know, those people that you, you feared who would put you down, right? <sighs> really important for you, Pisces, to understand that you are part of 
the universe and the universe is part of you. There is no separation other than what we believe is separating us. Okay, you are, you exist for a reason. You exist to show the world who you are, the authentic you. Yeah, and you may not even know who that is at the moment, or you might. You might be yet to discover that. I feel like there could be the majority of you do know, but you're hiding yourself away out of fear, out of fear from maybe having done that from the past and, and being put down, yeah? Okay, um, these emotions though, Pisces, these emotions are heavy. They are weighing you down and you're not releasing them um, again, I feel like you're afraid of the emotions. And these are definitely stopping you from actually growing. You know, um, aloneness, taking some time out to 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 express these emotions if you know creating a safe space for yourself to express them okay because this guy here is traveling this journey on his own and this is so much bigger than just this okay this is your life's path okay actually traveling your life's path because whatever it is that you're anticipating or whatever it is that you're not stepping into you may not be stepping onto this path and this is your path that is destined for you okay um you you know oh gosh i just completely went off the track from what i was saying there but this is about you shining your own light to lead the way okay about tapping in to this inner strength, okay, in order to lead your, the way for your own self, because it could very well have been that everyone else has told you what it is you need to do and what you need to be and what you need to say and what you need to think, but the fact of the matter is it is entirely up to you, okay, it is about taking this leap of faith and starting fresh, okay, actually knowing that you have the ability to do this, there's this purity about this beginning of the journey that um, that you can tap into, but you're letting your emotions get in the way and potentially these emotions of fear, okay? Um, beautiful, love this, move, move forward, okay? This is, this is really about you needing to let go of the... the all your fears of being ridiculed and humiliated. I feel like this person, and I, and I find it really interesting that the majority of the cards here are in silhouettes, like these, yeah, which I feel like is you in the shadows again, but I feel like this person is standing here in shame. Like, oh gosh, I just, I, just, I can't even turn around and be seen. I, I can't ever have that, you know, because you don't actually want to see yourself. You want to hide yourself away so that you can't see yourself, yeah? Um, so let's have a look. At move forward here. Transformation. Allow the transformation to happen. It is scary, but it needs to happen. Rise up from the ashes here, Pisces. You have all the tools and everything you need to actually do so, okay? Things are out of balance for you at the moment, and I know that because this keeps tipping and it going out of balance, right? And um, and you need to draw on everything you have. You need to pull it out the bag to honour yourself, yeah? Because you're totally worth it. But something inside of you says, no, I'm not. There's that little voice, you see? So these are the little little voices that you need to hear. Okay, and you need to start looking at the successes that you have made in your life because there, you know, you've already traveled so much of the journey of your life, and there have been successes, there have been achievements that you need to celebrate, and this will help bring down the walls and also help reduce those fears to go, oh, 
actually, you know, remember that time that you went to go and do this and you thought you couldn't, but you had to, and then you it worked out? Remember that time? Ah, oh, gosh, maybe I can do this. So maybe if I try it this way, then this could happen. What if it does work out? Maybe you're actually afraid of it working out. Maybe you're afraid of the success of it. Yeah? Taking the time out because I feel as though um, you have busied yourself so much that um, you haven't been able to take the time to acknowledge what it is that you need to acknowledge to look at these emotions, okay? Because this is a distraction for you from dealing with the heavy stuff. The hard stuff, right? A postponement came up here, which is interesting. Also about taking time out. Taking time out to allow your world to be coloured with beauty. Rather than hiding yourself in the shadows. New vision. Breaking out of these old patterns again. Okay, breaking out of them. Stop keeping yourself small. Okay, stop suppressing yourself, right? Actually going, because I feel like you're like this right now, and I feel like if you could just go like this, then you're going to break so, out of so much that you're going to actually surprise yourself as to what you can achieve, okay? Taking the time out to heal, taking the time out to heal all those things that have hurt you in the past to let your heart recover, and let your heart open up, right? Shadow self, you're afraid, Pisces. You're afraid that if you let anyone get close, they're going to see your shadow because you don't like your shadow and you would rather hide behind this veil than have your shadow been seen because even you won't acknowledge your shadow and you can't move forward and have the life that you want to create unless you make these acknowledgements and do the work in order to allow yourself to actually create the success that you want. Yeah? Shadow self for Pisces. Tell me more about this, please. You know, this is really about bringing the, the, the darkness into the light to shed light on it in order to dissolve it okay look at this person hiding all the jewels away there because like i say right you have this gem inside of you you have it inside of you that can shine you have lots of gems and jewels and all sorts of things that can shine but you're hiding them away you've built all these walls around you you're like no, no one's gonna see this no one's gonna because you're afraid that what will be seen is the shadow side of yourself that you even you don't want to be even you don't want to see and you don't want to acknowledge. But the only way to um to kind of like quieten that shadow self that keeps knocking at your door going, don't forget I'm here, I'm here, is the only way to do that is to bring it out okay into the light because you've gone through your life believing that if you just pretend that all that stuff didn't happen okay and that um and and you get into this denial state that it will go away and it won't bug you but the fact of the matter is pisces is that it's holding you back because you're not acknowledging it and because you're not addressing it allowing yourself to Feel the feelings and release the shame that you feel over those feelings. Past lives. There could be things that are in, this is definitely bearing everything down. This could be a generational thing, you know. This could be have happening generation after generation. This could be complete repeated patterns that you are so used to that you just think, oh, well, this is just in our family and can't do anything about that, but not, not seeing the opportunity to break the cycle, okay, and seeing how it is that you can actually change this, yeah, um, because it's almost to say, oh, well, why bother? 
because you know it's just how it's always been so why bother it's not my fault that that all happened it's their fault you know but the thing is that you are giving away your power by having that attitude okay it's up to you to break the cycle for the future generations to have things done differently and no it's not easy and yes it might be a really tough tough path but it is a necessary one okay let go Pisces let go of the need to control to control everything that is happening around you that is exhausting okay let go of the need to control all the fears. Let go of the need to control your emotions. Because it's like every time your emotions come up, because they do come up, you're like, okay, we're not doing that right now. It's not appropriate. It's not time not doing that. No, 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 no. Distract yourself. Distract yourself. Get busier. Go to something. Instead of taking the time out, to actually allow these to come up and be acknowledged. And it's strangling you. It is literally strangling you like you feel actually suffocated by it. Right? Realising that you're not like everyone else, Pisces. You are not just one of the sheep. You are the lion. <sighs> You are afraid of who you truly are. You are afraid of that lion within. You are afraid of the tiger. You think the lion means bad. You think it's bad to be the lion because the lion is the king of the jungle. You're not seeing all the good traits of the lion. You're not seeing the gentleness of the lion. You're not seeing the internal power the lion holds. This lion could gobble those sheep up. But he is not. Okay. Um, you've been conditioned to be one of the sheep. Instead of looking truly at yourself. And seeing that you are so much more than one of the sheep. Okay. Nothing against the sheep. Love you sheep. Okay. But you're a lion. Okay. Um, I feel like there's though this rage in you that you're afraid of and you associate that with the lion and that's why you won't let your true self to come out. So these are the emotions that need to come out. This is the shadow self that needs to be addressed. Okay, um, looking in the mirror with love. Looking at yourself with love. Okay, whoa. Laziness. See, this is this denial, this denial of you Pisces, putting your rose-coloured glasses on and sitting in the kitchen and pretending you're at the beach. <laughs> it's like, this is just totally you. This card was made for you, <laughs> right? It's time to shatter the illusion and time to um, really, really let go of everything that um, you have built up to ignore what it is that needs to be addressed okay intuition okay pisces you are not hearing this in a voice okay you are allowing your ego to take charge and you're allowing um the ego to control your life and it's not working because your inner voice is not heard um, the truth of who you are, your authentic self, has been buried by the ego. And it's the ego that says, who do you think you are? How would you be able to do that? You wouldn't be able to achieve that. Look at you trying to do that. What? You know, get over yourself. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel as though there is... Um, you know, that you've actually done potentially quite a bit of work and you don't realise just how far you've come. This is again about the success, seeing how far you've come and realising that as you progress through this journey to, to become comfortable with 
kind of like making your own mark on the world because again this is about not wanting to be seen and about um not uh, yeah yeah just hiding away right just kind of being that ordinary person wandering through the wandering through the trees just going along no nothing to see here it's all just the same old same old um, but working hard to make your life different to everybody else. I, I want to say in your family um, so that you can you can show all of them and it's not to prove anything to anyone, not that at all, but you can show them that it can be done that you can live by example, yeah, that you can be the one to lead the way, you can be the leader, yeah, you tap into that inner strength to do the hard work, man, and you can absolutely be the leader and not carry the burden of everyone else to, to pave your own path. Yeah, because again, this is everyone saying, go this way, do this, do that. And you're carrying, you're carrying all this, all these generations of this is how it is. And this is the way we go. And oh, man, I tell you what, if being in a family who puts that upon generation after generation after generation is, would be a heavy, heavy, heavy burden. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm just kind of like thinking if it was, say, a family business or say it was a, a line of lawyers or a line of doctors and this is what you must do. Being in this family, you must continue the family name and what we stand for and this is what it's about. And every ounce of you is screaming, no, I don't want to do that, right? You want to break out of that and you're being stuck in this ice and... and absolutely not even knowing how to get out and in this yeah this and um, these emotions here are just whew, man this is heavy you know it's just it is it's it's the suppression of um not allowing you to be who you truly are yeah and whether that is from external forces or from yourself of believing that this is what you should do and this is how you should do it because this is how it's always been done but knowing within you that that's not truly what you want and it could very well be Pisces that for some of you you know something's not quite right but you're just not quite sure what it is and this is where it's very important for you to tap in to the heart of who you truly are so that you can actually let that inner voice speak okay right well okay Pisces so there's some guidance for you to go on with and really start discovering you know whether it be through journaling whether it be through whatever means that it takes for you to bring yourself out of the shadows and actually letting this other part of you into the light Okay, so that you can begin to shine. Okay, Pisces, take care of your beautiful selves and good luck. Okay, I believe in you and you've got this, you can do it. Okay, bye.